Thank you very much. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, so just a brief caveat before I start. Um, there we go. Um, if at some point I say we rather than I or me tonight, it's not because I'm mental, it's because I worked with another guy called Ryan Doyle who moved last year to France uh, to live with his now wife. Um, and we now work together via the internet. Um, so, good. Uh, so, two years ago, um, we came down to London uh, because my mum, uh, Julie Edwards, who's a tapestry weaver, had a show at Collect um, at the Saatchi Gallery. Uh, here's a picture of me, Ryan, and my mum, whose birthday is today, actually. So, happy birthday, Julie. Um, we're in kilts because Ryan is Scottish and I like to cross-dress a little bit. Uh, and uh, when we came down, we stayed with, uh, well, we stayed at an Airbnb um, that is owned by a guy called Paolo Ghiardi, uh, who makes wonderful collage work. We didn't know this at the time, um, but when we arrived, uh, his work was absolutely, <laughs> that is a big penis. Um, <laughs> when, uh, when we arrived, we didn't realize that he was a collage artist, but his work was just like floor to ceiling. It was just incredibly inspiring and made us think a lot about how uh, immediate collage is and how exciting um, it would be to do a project uh, on a daily basis. So we decided to do a thing called 365 Days of Collage, which as the name suggests is where we made a collage a day for a year, imaginatively. We set ourselves some restrictions. Um, the first being that they had to be 230 millimeters by 180 millimeters, which is the size of this envelope, uh, because we wanted to charge 10 pounds for each collage, and it didn't make any sense to charge 10 pounds and then charge 20 pounds for the postage. Uh, and also we were gonna post one each day at 1 p.m., which I'll come back to later, uh, but I'm just gonna show you all of them very quickly.
Okay. Not finished yet. Uh, so I'm just going to read through a couple of the drawbacks and some of the positives that came from the project. Uh, so um, going to the post office every week is something that I hope never to do ever again. Um, not only did I hate the experience of having to cycle there in normally the pissing rain in Manchester, but the looks they used to give me about halfway through the project, it's like, oh, fuck, it's him. <laughs> um, is, yeah, rubbish. Uh, every day, because we were posting them at one o'clock, had to set a reminder to post it every day at one o'clock, so we wanted to get into people's like, daily schedules, so they'd go and check it on their phone, whatever. Uh, uh, so it went off. At the worst times, uh, we went to Miami to give a talk at Art Basel, went off then, um, I took my girlfriend to Paris, uh, and it went off every day there, which she loved. Uh, and I went on a stag do, and we went up Snowdon, and it went off halfway up the mountain, so that was rubbish. This is kind of a nice drawback, but a drawback nonetheless. Went to, uh, one of my friends, Anna Beam, uh, messaged me halfway through the projects and said, I've got loads of National Geographics, do you want them? Oh, yes, yes, we do. Now, it looks like a lot there. The picture she, she sent me did not look that many. And when I got there with one suitcase, she was like, mm, okay, uh, you maybe don't have enough suitcases? Like, huh? Two suitcases. We were late. Me and my long suffering girlfriend were late for the train, dragging them down Euston train station. Now, here's a tidbit. 250 National Geographics do not make you faster at running. Does not matter what the adverts say. Positives, money, 3,650 pounds. We sold them all, wonderful. Uh, helps towards studio rent, um, a beer at the end of the day, always helps. Uh, it was really great seeing a lot of friends, uh, strangers and peers buy them. Um, this is a guy called Liam, uh, who lives just outside of, Ma outside of Manchester, who bought 80 which still kind of blows my mind a little bit. Um, we had a show at a wonderful art institution called Home, uh, which if you ever visit Manchester is very nice. It shows great films, has nice art exhibitions, and a good restaurant. Um, now what I'm really here to talk about is that uh, when we were well, halfway through the project, we kind of thought, oh, this is looking quite good, and it would look really nice at the end of it if we could gather it all together in, say, a book. So we had a look at our bookshelves, and we're like, All right, we have a lot of Thames and Hudson books. Let's approach them. And they said, and I quote, we only do artist monographs for people who are famous or dead. <laughs> and as we were neither of those, we were like, okay, fine. Um, but what they did say, which is quite smart, was that uh, did we have a idea that we could pitch to them about doing a book about collage. Um, so we came up with the idea for Cut That Out, um, which is a book about contemporary collage within design. So designs using it for poster art, record sleeves, advertising, etc. Um, and it is available in all good bookshops. <laughs> and some bad ones. Um, and it, like, really, like, it's been a pleasure to do, uh, to speak to and receive work from some of our favorites. Uh, you know, Lee Podhajski, I'm terrible at pronouncing his name every time. Uh, Jesse Draxler, uh, Hort, I'm sure you all know, um, and loads of others. Uh, it's, yeah, this has been a, a, a real pleasure from start to finish. Um, so, can I get this fucking book, please? <laughs> Thanks. And uh, one last thing, uh, just, on the 5th of October, uh, make sure you're all free, because we're going to do a exhibition at the wonderful KK outlet then. Um, and that is it. Thanks.